Hey guys, it's your girl, Lashes Tony XO. How are you guys doing today? Um, I'm doing fabulous. I have my ice cha latte. I cannot believe I've drank a whole. I always get venti's 90% of the time. Every now and then I'll get a grande, but this is a venti and. I've almost killed it, you guys. I've almost killed it, but yeah. My husband brought this to me for breakfast this morning. He brought me Chick-fil-A, and I love me some Chick-fil-A. I'm a huge Chick-fil-A fan. And a Starbucks iced tea latte. I said iced tea. Iced tea latte. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing I want to pull out here is my 3D Crest White. Uh, Lux Glamorous White Alcohol Free Mouthwash. That's a mouthful. But this is the same, the 3D Crest White Strips that I believe in. They get my teeth this white. I use them at least once a month. Um, if I'm really good, I'll do it twice a month. But sometimes I'm kind of lazy about it, so I'll do it once a month. But I also use the mouse, the mouse, the mouthwash, which is really, really good. And I also use the toothpaste. Um, so, yeah, I would highly recommend this. And I would definitely repurchase this. I actually have many, many times. I just bought a new bottle that's in the bathroom. So, um, that's one of my big things with my teeth is I always have to have a pack of a box of the Crest White Strips and I always have to have um, the Crest White Strip mouthwash and toothpaste. That's like my thing. I have to have all three of those or I just feel like my teeth are not clean or not white enough. And so if you want to know how I get my teeth white, those are my little tricks. So I would definitely repurchase this and I would highly recommend you guys purchasing this because it is a really good product. So there you go on that. Okay. I have had this Redken um, Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment, Conditioner Treatment or Leave-In Treatment, whatever you want to call it. I feel like I've had it for a year, maybe six months no probably a year but like it lasted me forever this stuff was really really good to my hair my hair was very damaged at one point and it's getting a lot healthier I don't know if you guys noticed but it's getting a lot healthier and I'm really happy about it and I I think it has a lot to do with this product again this is Redken and it's an anti-snap leave-in treatment for distressed hair um, I did buy this at Ulta. Ulta carries this. Um, I know a lot of sal salons carry it. Um, and I would highly recommend it. This one is my second bottle. Um, I have not repurchased this. I, I might wait and see, um, when Ulta has like a sale. Because sometimes they have a sale on their shampoos and their hair products, um, or something. I don't know. But also just really has good deals on their hair products. So I did not repurchase this, but I would. So looks like this. And it's got this really, really cool pump, which I like. So once I get out of the shower, um, what I do is I towel dry my hair. And then I will pump maybe two to three pumps in my hands and just kind of rub it together and just kind of go through uh, the ends of my hair and a lot through here because this is where I'm always afraid it's going to like break off and stuff because you know I do get my hair colored and stuff so yeah so I just try to like use that product a lot I, I'm not shy with that product so yeah I really love it would totally repurchase it again but I have okay this is by L'Oreal, and it is called the Advanced Hair Care Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. Um, okay. I 
have my thoughts on this. Um, it looks like this. You can get it at Target. You can get it at Ulta, uh, Walmart, um, just anywhere really. And as you can see, I used every drop in here. It has a very beautiful, clean hair smell, which I adore the smell. But, I do not feel like it does anything for my hair um, as far as a damage erasing balm. It's a leave-in conditioner, basically. So, not leave-in, but like you leave it in your hair when it's, obviously you wash your hair. Um, when it's time to put conditioner on hair, you can condition your hair and then after that, leave this product on your hair for like five, ten minutes. And then you completely rinse, you definitely rinse this product out. This is definitely a product you do not want to leave in your hair. It's very thick. So you would leave it on and then rinse it out. Um, but I never felt like it really did anything. I never felt like when I used it, my hair was silky soft. I felt like it was a waste because, a waste of my time. Because you're sitting in the tub, you know, or the shower and you're just like, Okay, I gotta leave this on for five or ten minutes, you know, like, and you leave it on, and then when you get out, you want, like, silky hair, and I felt like this did not do what it promised me it was gonna do. So, to let you guys know, to me, this is a fail product, and I would not purchase it again. Although the smell is incredible, I would not purchase it again. Now, I've never tried the conditioner. The conditioner I might like, but I doubt it. So far, my favorite conditioner is by Bedhead, and I swear by it. Um, and I just love it. So I haven't found anything that compares to my bed hair, bed hair, bedhead. Sorry, my bedhead conditioner and my Matrix shampoo. Those I, I kind of like high end products, I guess. Okay. Um, I have a lot of body washes, you guys. Okay. This one right here is the Bath and Body Works Forever Red Shower Gel. You guys. If you're looking for a girly, super, super girly, super sexy date night body wash with a perfume, body spray, and lotion set, I would highly recommend this one. It is super so good. I am not even kidding you. I don't know if I can read the notes here without my glasses. But it's just I would totally repurchase this again. And actually I don't have to because I have a full bottle in my bathtub or in my bathroom and a full bottle of lotion and a full bottle of perfume. So I'm good to go right now, but I am out of this one. So yeah. Okay. I have some more uh, shower gels from Bath and Body Works that I'm out of. Okay. This one is the Endless Weekend Bath and Body Works um, shower gel with shea and vitamin vitamin E looks like this and it smells clean but I wouldn't say it's my favorite like I would not repurchase this one I would repurchase the forever red for sure but I would not repurchase the weekend the endless weekend it is not my favorite it just smells like a clean just a clean smell. Nothing like major. Another one um, that I ran out of was the Bath and Body Works Seaside Pink Jasmine. This is one of my all-time favorite smells. I don't know what it is about this one. I guess I like pink jasmine, but this smells... Oh my god. This smells incredible. Oh my god, that smells so freaking good. Let me see if I can find my glasses and I can read you the notes, maybe. Um, okay. Yeah, I can see now. Um, this one has jasmine blossom, 
Um, it has ocean honeysuckle, pink uh, juniper, and seaside moss. I don't know about those combinations. It sounds really weird, but I'm telling you this. I think I can smell the jasmine or something. Okay. Another Bath and Body. I have a few Bath and Body product, products in here. This one um, I just ran out of. It is something that I've been trying to use up from my fall Bath and Body Works haul. That rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Okay. So this one is the Coconut Pumpkin Latte. Um, it looks like this. It's the one with the pump that kind of gets gooped up every now and then. I always say I'm not going to buy them. I always do. I prefer the foam one because it just comes out cleaner. But I feel like the foam ones don't last as long as these. I don't know why. It's just, I feel that way. Um, when I repurchase this, I'm going to have to smell it again. But, oh hell yeah. Anything with pumpkin, you know I'm a fall girl. I'm a fall girl. I'm a pumpkin girl. Fall is my jam. I would totally repurchase this one. Um, and this, again, this one's the coconut pumpkin latte. So, do Bath and Body Works and spend like $300 on crap I don't need. Okay, more Bath and Body Works stuff. Let's see. How many more do I have? One more Bath and Body Works product. Um, it is the pumpkin cupcake um, little hand sanitizer. I'm almost through with my uh, donut one, but I still have a little bit left. But this one is the pumpkin cupcake, and I will let you know what it smells like. <sighs> smells like heaven. It smells like if you went to cupcake heaven. It doesn't smell like pumpkin to me, um, so I feel like you could use this scent all year round like if you have the candle which i think i do if you have the candle if you have there's a nap if you have the sanitizer if you have any of the hand soaps i feel like the pumpkin cupcake smells more like a cupcake like a vanilla cupcake so i think you can get away with it all year round what i would purchase okay this is the holy grail i've been buying this since i started my channel you guys this is the batiste uh dry shampoo in the light and blonde and i always use this especially because my blonde hair and my roots do not match and when my roots come out it's just like the bam and then it's like really dark and then this right here is really cool if you can see the tip of it it has a little bit of a spray can type feel to it like you can spray your roots a little bit it's not going to be like just looks like you got a fresh color or anything like that ladies don't don't be fooled but it will give you like it's not gonna do it but it will give you like a little bit of blonde and a lot of volume uh, this is my favorite one by batiste um yeah i always repurchase this i have two of them in my bathroom now for backups and usually at ulta you can get a really good deal on these. Sometimes they have them um, for like $6.99 or $7.99. And then sometimes they even have them where you can buy one and get one half off. Which is really good deal. Okay. This is my Holy Grail uh, Cleansing Water. This is by Garnier. It's the Skin Active Cleansing Water. And this one's in the pink top. It is uh for sensitive skin it is an all-in-one makeup remover cleanser refresh no rinse no harsh rubbing for your lips face and eyes and alcohol free oil free uh fragrance free and i have this in the new matte green with a green tip on it and i also have it in the blue tip um, so yeah, this is like my favorite. I love all three of them, but the pink and the green are my favorites. The blue, eh, but the pink and the blue, the pink and the green are totally my favorites. Um, love this, love this, love this. I have another dry shampoo. Okay, this one is called, psst, psst. Oh, did I spit? I don't know. Psst. Okay, 
I don't really know what that means or why it's called that, but it's the pst, true original uh, instant dry shampoo. I don't know if this is maybe the first dry shampoo ever invented. I don't know about that, but I hate this dry shampoo with a passion. I was so glad when I finished it because I felt like it last forever and I was like, get out. I don't, oh my gosh, there's still some in there, you guys. No, that's just there. I'm like, get out. I don't like you. Get out. Um, so I would not repurchase this. Um, I got it at Ulta and it's just, uh, it does not absorb the oils at all. So I would pass on this swab. Have you ever heard of that before? Um, it's the 24 hour protection in the fragrance wild cherry blossom. Um, I enjoyed the smell. And I did think that it last lasted 24 hours. I felt like it was a really good uh, deodorant with, um, like, some deodorants you put on in the morning. And by, like, the afternoon, you're like, holy shit, I need to stop and get some deodorant. This one was not like that. I could put it on in the morning. The whole day, I smelled fresh, clean, like I just had a shower. And so, yeah, this pretty good stuff. The only thing I will say about this, it says it's an invisible solid, but I, I used to get it all over my black tops all the time. So if you're looking for something to not get on your black tops, don't get this one. But if you don't wear black and you just wear other colors, I don't think it would show up. It's a really good deodorant. Um, okay. So I have a shaver, uh, razor, shaver, whatever you want to call it. This one is Intuition. If you know, Intuition is my holy grail. Razor, shaver, whatever you want to call it. So there's no um, blade in here. Took it out. I always throw these away because I just buy the new, just the new one with the blades in it. I don't know why. It's just what I do. Um, so would I repurchase it? Yes. I just repurchased it. Um, and I got it in like a tropical berry smell. So I haven't used it yet. So I'm excited because I love that these come with a bar of soap around it. So really, you don't need a shaving gel with this. And that's why I like it so much. It's just really, it, make, it moisturizes your legs. And I just don't feel like it dries my legs out. I feel like it feels really silky when I use it because it has that really big bar of soap with it. Um, and I, this is my favorite one. Sorry, you guys. Some people might not like it, but this is to a total holy grail. Yes, I would repurchase it. And um, another, this is a makeup item, sort of. Um, this is by Lorac. And it is a body, instant body bronzer. So, it's not a self-tanner. It's something that you see instantly. Let's say you're wearing a very cute romper or a very cute um, pair of shorts or a dress. And you really just want to like just put some tan on your legs. Um, this is called the Tan Talizer. It's a deep body bronzing luminator. So it does have like a glittery glowy bronzy look so if you're not into that you like more of a matte bronzer you're not gonna like this one this one is a total like your legs are gonna glow I, i'll see if there's any left i don't think there is because i use it to death um i'll try to put a little bit if i can get some there's a tiny bit in the cap right here so okay that's what i'm talking about okay so what I'm saying is, like, you would put this, and it's, like, got a little bit of sheen to it, if you can see. And you would just rub it all over your legs to get a little bit of a bronzy, shimmery glow like that. Would I repurchase it again? I have actually found some new products that I prefer. I love the Tarte one, and it's completely matte. And I really, really love that one. And, um, glasses fell. So... I don't think I would repurchase that one, but I do, I did enjoy it while I had it. So, that's my thoughts on that. Okay, another thing, you guys. You guys are going to laugh at me, but, okay. 
I'm getting rid of all my beauty blenders, all my sponges from all my brands because they're so disgusting and dirty and I've had them forever and I just bought a bunch of new sponges. So, I'm going to show you the ones I'm getting rid of. Okay, my diamond sponge. Look how disgusting that is. I loved this sponge to death. So, I need to repurchase this one. Throwing it away. It's going in the garbage. Hell yeah. Okay, the L'Oreal one. Okay, look. It's starting to get mold. Okay, that's just disgusting. Um, there's a lot of black dots on it, which totally freaked me out. So, I'm getting rid of this. Um, and sponges scare me anyway because they hold bacteria. So, I'm getting rid of this one. And yes, I would repurchase the L'Oreal one. This one is like one of my favorite, um, drugstore sponges. So, yeah. Totally repurchased that one. I just lost the diamond one. I don't know where the hell I went to. Hopefully, my dog doesn't get it. Um, I have two of the real beauty blenders. Um, I've used these to death, so I'm getting rid of these also. These are $20 a piece, which is crazy now that all these drugstore are having like these really good buys, like 10 bucks, and you're just say you can buy like so many more, and it's just a great deal. And so I'm getting rid of my beauty blenders. Um, I've had them for a while now, and they're they're going to retire, so tell them bye. No, I don't think I would um, repurchase a beauty blender. Now I have four of the Royal Techniques. Um, you can see this one's super old. Um, this one's not that old, but um, I just bought new ones. You know where you can get that um, the four pack? They have it at Ulta. You can get a four pack now. I just bought a new pack, so I'm getting rid of all these. And yeah, I'm over all the dirt. So, I'm dropping everything. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the expensive ones. These are the Lily Lashes. Okay. I have a rant with this. I don't know if I'm going to have time for a rant, but I have a rant with this. These are these cost me almost 30 bucks, And as soon as I got them, they fell apart. I was taking them off, and then I used a little bit of my my cleaner like my um my water that I take off my makeup with and I was just kind of softly uh cleaning them and it just they completely broke in half and I was like what the f because I just spent thirty dollars on these things and totally not worth it so I would not recommend these at all the the quality really sucks the lashes are really pretty um, you do have to cut them. They're made for, like, larger, like, lash, uh, lashes. They're made for larger eyes, I feel like. So, you do have to cut them. And they're so high maintenance. Like, I feel like you only get, like, one or two wear out of them before they just tear up and fall apart. And it's a waste of 30 bucks when there's so many drugstore lashes that are awesome. So, no, I would not repurchase Lily Lashes. Sorry, Lily. But I'm not repurchasing your lashes. Okay. Now, other lashes. Um, here's some more Ardell Double Wispies. These were so cute because they were doubled and so they were super thick. Yes, I would totally repurchase these. They're very cute for wanting to be glam and sexy. So, if you're looking for... See if you can find the Ardell Double Wispies. Try to find those. They're super cheap. And you just get like double the volume. Highly recommend those. Yes, I would purchase those again. Okay, last two things. Ardell, Ardell. These are the 603s. Would not purchase these again. They're too natural for me. And these are the Ardell Natural Wispies. Probably not or purchase those again. And that is the end of my June empty empties. I can't even talk. That was the end of my June empties. I hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up for me. Okay. And I just want to say you are my people. I love you to pieces. You are my YouTube family. And I hope you have a good one. Bye guys. Love ya.